highlights channel of the Ranveer show this is TRS clips I don't think too many people have an understanding of ISRO other than the fact that it's a very budget friendly organization like in very small budgets ISRO is able to do a lot um uh, it's able to build extremely advanced technology yeah uh what are some of the projects that you guys are currently doing whatever you can talk about in the public domain i'm sure there's a ton you can't yeah, yeah. um but whatever yeah, whatever is in public domain itself is huge uh one is uh, there is a uh, the currently active project is like trying to get uh, one uh, human person into the space so okay. that's called gaganyan uh so gaganyan uh, of course it's uh, when you look at from the point of view of uh, uh, nasa has done it before but there is lot of excitement in our country doing it right so that kind of uh, things are going on so as part of gaganyan uh, you need to have a capsule uh, that is a ca- that is capable of uh, sustaining a human being uh, while it is it is in space flight so that is one there so there is a gaganyan capsule Uh, which will actually uh, finally go as a payload to one of the largest uh, launch vehicles mark 3 gslv mark 3 etc so instead of a satellite which will be like a payload you will have this module which will have a human being inside that you have the space suit everything is uh, covered with space suit etc and this has to um, now uh, start from uh, sri helicopter it has to launch from sri helicopter that is the most ambitious thing that is going on then chandrayaan 1 uh chandrayaan project so i was associated with chandrayaan one project okay. i had done a, a kind of uh, uh, i was part of the uh, software simulation studies of the chandrayaan one that is in 2001 software simulation studies yeah so you have to like uh, whenever your uh, spacecraft moves from uh, like uh, release from the uh, like uh, launch vehicle it will be in a earth bound orbit mm. so it will be a 100 km orbit around earth and it has to be slowly slowly uh, like uh, move to a lunar transitory orbit okay so it's like a, a eight shaped project so it's the spacecraft is rotating 100 kilo, at a 100, 100 km height around earth where when it is thrust uh, the retro rockets fire it slowly moves uh, in an eight shaped orbit and start connecting with the moon mm. and then it start orbiting moon Got and it, it become a satellite of moon so turning the uh, earth bound satellite uh, that is a uh, uh, the, the spacecraft rotating earth turning it into a, a satellite of moon mm. so there is a lot of maneuvers etc and it is a, a very complicated mathematics you know tensor calculus multi body problem etc so that kind of uh, that uh, entire simulation that I, i actually i was part of that and i was uh, also fortunate to meet apj abdul kalam okay as part of that uh, project <laughs> how yeah. was it meeting him it's a very very short meeting uh but um, uh, like uh, i got a chance because i was in trivandrum and uh, apj abdul kalam was uh, just about to be the president of india some uh, one or two weeks before he became the president of india uh, i was uh, like uh, i i saw the project all the details and he was uh, like highly appreciative of that one what is his aura like he is uh, i mean very simple person and some of the things you mentioned about is how they are doing uh, economic launches is mainly because of the people uh, abdul kalam and the people who were in the generation because they were having these uh, sounding rockets rockety sounding rockets they were taking on a bicycle mm. so what motivated them is uh, the passion of uh, uh, like uh, ma- making isro succeed even with the limited budgets and that kind of culture continued and that is how now we are able to have the we, isro is the lowest budget uh, kind of uh, Uh, space launching uh, organization which can launch a spacecraft to mars lesser than the budget of a hollywood movie about uh, mars <laughs> it's crazy so, yeah, that's what we're proud of isro for correct, all yeah. of india you know yeah and the another thing uh, the gaganyan is one then there is another re reattempt to uh, because second the chandrayaan 2 little slightly failure because the plan was to uh, actually on like uh, launch Uh, on the surface of moon but it didn't succeed but the orbit everything happened uh, so chandrayaan 2 uh, the retake that is the the new mission for chandra the uh, again going back to the moon uh, with a little more uh, technology the pieces and then the the other one is uh, the, the mangalyaan mangalyaan we have done one uh, one successful mission of orbit so orbit is easier landing is little more difficult so landing is what we are doing 
and then they are also have suryan and uh, what i have uh, understood is that there is a kind of interest in uh, just like what nasa have done uh, like props to mercury and venus as well so all the neighborhood uh, planets okay. that we will cover that is uh, the kind of immediate requirement this is over how many years so it's a decade like a, a plan of a decade like okay that. so but uh, this uh, gaganyaan is very much progressing very fast and uh, a lot of different stages of that like uh, bringing that uh, the the space capsule like uh, whatever capsule it when it falls down after a single one single revolution around earth with the uh, uh, like uh, human human beings it will come down to the uh, ocean yeah. so you you have to get it intact all these the studies are happening now the um, experiments everything is going on how is chandrayaan 3 going to be different from chandrayaan 2 and is it true that if you all had higher budgets mm-hmm. maybe the chandrayaan 2 mission would have been uh, successful the way you all wanted it? see for india it was still a successful mission because india is like backing isro like yeah, crazy yeah. Yeah, yes but if you all had higher budgets do you think it would have been a success yeah the higher budget definitely but uh, here uh, the the crucial issue was uh, some kind of a navigation control system uh, which when we, when we, when it is reaches near to the surface of the uh, like moon that uh, whatever control and navigation that there was some kind of a misplay in that okay. like because the the stability of a spacecraft is based on the retro rockets the the rot- rockets that is uh, connected to the surface of the spacecraft so Uh, it's it's something like uh, like uh, like uh, if the on the both the sides of a spacecraft if you have some thruster going on if the thrust of one rocket is slightly lesser it starts spinning mm. so that spin that kind of spin that is a, so it's a kind of a technological glitch uh, which uh, in it will be resolved in the next okay and it's uh, basically a kind of thing where uh, experience counts and to attempt it in a first or second kind of a, a launch itself is an achievement that's why mm. we consider that chandrayaan 2 the orbital is done and then uh, the launching there was a failure still it is a kind of success yeah. because see, the similar organizations nasa or uh, european space agency or russian uh, gk or they have done multiple trials mm. uh, like in case of chinese uh, they were in, uh, initial missions were complete failures and but uh, our uh, this uh, chandrayaan one was the first attempt success which is very rare and uh, uploaded by all the uh, other organizations also so if you look at the total number of trials the third trial is not a bad thing actually yeah the first trial success second trial there is a technical glitch third trial Do- definitely so these are playlists made especially for you we've tailor made learning experiences for you the rs clips